Hey guys, so we're back from Trader Joe's with our grocery haul and I'm just going to unpack and just kind of show you guys what we got. Um, just keep in mind that a lot of um, the groceries that we get may not be the best for all allergy families, but they're what works for us so that we can all kind of eat what, what we need and get all of our vitamins and minerals. Um, and a lot of the foods that we buy um, may not necessarily be safe for Thai yet, but we just avoid the really big ones. So we avoid soy, egg, and dairy, um, and rice in some cases. Sometimes Max can have foods with rice in it if he's like taking it to school, but we try not to let him have it here at the house um, just in case something falls on the floor. So I'll start with this bag. Um, we got sunflower seed butter, um, the Trader Joe's brand, and this is for Max's lunches at school. We don't have a known nut allergy here in the house, so um, for now we still use almond butter and peanut butter here at home. Um, but when Max goes to school, his school is nut free. So we pack him allergen friendly bread and um, sunflower seed butter and jelly sandwiches. So this is for Max for school. We got the Trader Joe's dark chocolate honey mints. Basically there's no, um, it's a chocolate but that doesn't have any milk in it which is really kind of hard to find and there's no soy lecithin in them either. So um, we're just going to put these out for the holidays in just little candy trays. It's just nice to have candies out that if something does hit the ground it's not unsafe for Thai. Riced cauliflower. We make this um, instead of rice. I'll show my recipe for how I make this and make it taste really good. We do a lot of Wild Tree freezer meals and I actually sell Wild Tree um, and I can talk a little bit more about that in another video. But um, we, a lot of the meals are really great served with pasta or rice, but since Thai we know is allergic to rice, um, we make rice cauliflower. I got um, beef tamales as a snack for myself. These are the ones that don't have cheese in them. Um, the Trader Joe's zucchini fries, they are one of the few battered items that doesn't have egg or milk in it. Um, so we like to serve this with dinner sometimes too. It's a really great way to get toddlers to eat a vegetable because Max thinks that it's just a french fry. I got two bags of that. I got another um, bag of riced cauliflower. Michelle got one of their holiday teas. It's the chocolate uh, chocolate mint flavored black tea and I think she's going to take this and um, leave it at her studio where she teaches. <coughs> I got another um, grinder of pink Himalayan sea salt just for general use. And I got a pack of uncured bacon. These are the ends and pieces pack. It's like $3.50 for this and it's 16 ounces. So this is kind of the best deal we can get on bacon around here. And it's nice to have on hand for breakfast or just to kind of toss a little bit of extra flavor in something like greens or any, um, any other dish. So we just kind of keep this on hand. We get it every time. I got um, a bag of grapefruit. The boys and I really love citrus, so I always keep a lot of citrus fruit on hand. Um, Max and I can eat like three grapefruits in one sitting. Um, the Trader Joe's classic potato chip only has three ingredients. It's potatoes, sunflower oil, and salt. All those ingredients are safe for this household, so if something got dropped, we wouldn't have to worry about it. Um, and we just like to have these as just an extra kind of a treat snack to have on hand. Uh, Michelle is trying the uh, everything flavored pretzel slims. Uh, they are safe, but they are made on shared equipment. We um, will sometimes buy shared equipment items if it says that it shares equipment with milk and soy. Um, Max is eating a snack over there and having a really good time. Um, but we'll sometimes buy shared equipment items if it's not something that's going to be fed directly to Ty or if it's something that Michelle's going to take and leave at her studio um, because then we don't have to worry about crumbs in the house. Um, we got another bag of these inner peas. These have um, rice in them and Ty has actually reacted to one of these directly. However, we, um, we put them up on the high shelf and they go with Max to school because they do have vegetable powder in them and so it's a really good way to sneak a vegetable in for the toddler who otherwise won't eat vegetables. But these are just not safe for eating at home. Um, these Trader Joe's little baton ch chocolates are safe 
They are uh, dairy and soy free. So Michelle and I each got two. She got the espresso flavor and a traditional dark chocolate. And then I got a raspberry and a dark chocolate. So we keep those on hand. When we leave the house, um, we can't just drive through and get snacks. So when we leave the house to go out for the day, we bring everything with us. If we think we may feel like we want a little bit of chocolate later, or we might feel like we are gonna need a snack that afternoon, we'll pack all the snacks, we pack all of our meals, and we bring all of that with us in lunch boxes and keep it in the car so that we don't have to worry about trying to figure out where we can buy food. And so our grocery bill is a little bit higher, but our restaurant bill that for the month is usually zero because we don't have to go to restaurants because we bring everything with us. Um, Max picked out his own bundle of bananas. So these are bananas for the week. Um, usually we'll go through like two or three of these bundles. Max eats banana, a banana every morning for breakfast and then when they start to get brown, I freeze them and turn them into banana ice cream. We got the roasted plantain chips. These are really popular. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know about these from Trader Joe's. They are a great substitute for a um, corn tortilla chip. They're really good in guacamole, really good in salsa, or just on their own because they're salted. Um, Max thinks that they're crackers, so he'll eat them like crackers. Michelle will take them to work and have them as a snack at her studio too. Another bag of those mints so that we have some for each of our little candy bowls dried pineapple rings. Max and I eat dried fruit as a special treat. He thinks it's like candy, so if I let him, he'd eat a whole bag, so I kind of have to monitor that. And I stopped buying dried mango because he would eat a whole pack of dried mango in one sitting. Um, and it was just way too much. <laughs> I got some um, cremini mushrooms because I like to do sauteed mushrooms um, pretty much in any meal. I think it adds a lot of flavor and some nice texture. Um, I'm the only one in the household that likes mushrooms though, so I usually just buy one pack every other week or so, just for myself. I got a bag of organic Granny Smith apples. And a bag of organic Pink Lady apples. Um, Max is really into apples right now. I'm also gonna steam some apples. Um, to where they're just a little bit softer so that Ty can have finger food because right now the only way he knows apple is as a puree and I'm trying to get more textures in his diet. And lastly, I got an Epic Bar. Um, I have bought some Epic Bars in bulk but they were the bison flavor and they had cherries in them and they're really sweet. They're kind of like a sweet jerky. Um, but I wanted to try the um, chicken sriracha flavor because I really love spicy. Um, and I want to try this before I bought a pack in bulk. I order every month with a group of um, families here in town and we order from Frontier and we can get a lot of organic foods and they do carry these on Frontier. I just didn't want to get a 15 pack if I didn't know that I liked them. So I went ahead and got one. And I think that's all that we bought today. Um, I also found some gum, which I opened and left in the car, and it was soy free. I found that at um, Trader Joe's because I've been having a really hard time finding gum that doesn't have soy lecithin in it. Um, but for now, that's our grocery haul. I'm going to put all of this away, and I'll come back later when I'm either cooking or when we have time to do a kitchen tour, and I can show you how I keep everything organized. <laughs>